Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go through setting up this um, USB to DVI video adapter on a laptop running Debian Linux. So this is just a, um, a video card essentially, just plug it in the USB port and it has DVI output to which I've got a, a DVI to HDMI adapter. Now uh, you can get straight up cables from DVI to HDMI but I don't have one. And then that would go to um, just a, an extra monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up on this laptop here and just go through the process. Now before I get too far into it, one of the things I want to point out is that this desktop that I usually use is using an X11 Windows system. By default, these days when you install Debian, you use Wayland, and that's what I'll be using on the laptop. But the reason I've got X11 on here is because when I installed the NVIDIA drivers for the 3D graphics of this computer, uh, it used X11, so it doesn't use Wayland. And the screen capture that I use, this capture program here, a uh, simple screen recorder, only actually works in X11, which is why it didn't work on one of my recent videos when I tried to do a screen capture of the laptop, because it was using Wayland. So I just wanted to point that out, and the only reason I'm using this here now is to just show you a couple of things using that screen capture. So to show what type of display the system's using, just echo uh, XDG session type. And you can see here it's X11. If I do that on the laptop, it'll be Wayland, but I won't be able to capture it easily with a uh, simple screen recorder. So what you've got to make sure is that you're using Wayland when you set this up, which is what this laptop will be default to. Don't, don't have X11 running, because you can switch between them. Don't try and install this with X11. Make sure Wayland's running. Just leave it running. Okay, so just with the camera at the laptop here, if I show you that output again, compared to the main computer, you can see it says Wayland, not X11. So good to go. Okay, now you're going to need a driver. So while you're thinking about it, just go to the, the site that I'll have a link for, but just look up the display link site and you'll end up here. And just go for the Ubuntu one, which is based on Debian anyway, and download that. Um, of course we agree. I won't go the latest and greatest, I'll just go the release one late last year and download that. Okay, to make it easier to view, I'm just going to uh, SSH into that laptop from here so I can do the screen capture to show you. Out of interest, if I show the session type via an SSH session, it shows a TTY for teletype. That shouldn't matter. So there's the program. So I'll unzip it, that display link thing, and you can see the run one there. i change it so I can actually run it, make it executable, and then um, sudo run the thing. Steve, which isn't me. And it'll want to install a couple of little things. Now this may fail because it wants to compile something, but it won't have the, Lin it won't have the Linux uh, kernel headers, so I'll probably have to install them too. But we'll see what it says. And it says it right there. Because you always read the logs, right? You need those headers. So I'm just going to install them as well. So sudo apt-get um, install Linux headers and the ones that they are, which is this. Uh, there we go. So just let that install. And now I'll try and install display link again. And you can see it's building it now. Okay, so there it is. Okay, now just note I had that unplugged when I installed that. And if you have it plugged in, it tells you you should unplug it anyway. So I already knew to have it unplugged, so just keep that in mind. So I'll reboot this system now and see what happens. Before I reboot that, I'll just plug it in and show you what happens if you don't have that installed. So that's just plugged in, just pop it around the back. The monitor will come on and just has this green screen. Okay, that's before the reboot, before the drive is installed. So I'll just reboot it now. Okay, so it's doing its boot up and just about to get to the login screen. And there we go, you can see it's already responding over there. And by default, when you move the mouse to the right, it's over there. So I now have the ability to put um, another monitor on the computer through the USB port. There we go. So that's working nicely. I'll just log out of this and show you where the selection is to go between different um, window types. So at the login screen, not the quickest laptop, once you click your name, you'll see down here that little cog, sometimes it's up here, but 
you see that and you can if it's just the normal known that's Wayland if I go down to XORG that'll be X11 and you can see currently that screen's on that is actually on over there but if I boot up with XORG okay once it starts that 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 won't work again so it doesn't work in XORG so I've only got the one monitor here now so you've got to run it in Wayland I'm sure there's a way but that's the easy way and pretty much the way you do it anyway so back at Wayland which this login is that's why it comes back on um, just go down to the normal one the default one and you should be right okay now if you've got a couple of those like I do you can put a couple of external monitors on the laptop so you can see here I've got the laptop driving all this and one monitor there is the HDMI output from the laptop and the other two are just two of those um, DVI video adapters and you can see this is one of the things I use my TV server for not to watch but when I want to test video um, you can see it's running uh, full motion video quite fine there it does slow down if you get a few different things on one screen but I intend on using this not for video but just for nerdy stuff that doesn't really move fast so it'll do me fine one of them's even going through a hub but that's fine because plenty of bandwidth to run these things okay so that's how you set up those um, USB display adapters in uh, Debian I'll put all the info in the video here for mainly my own reference in the future but obviously for everyone else as well so now I can just do some nerdy stuff in a different location um, for when I get sick of this computer here I can shake it up a bit and just focus on a particular task so that'll do for now till next time take it easy okay what I'm actually doing is I'm working on programming a 3d spectrum analyzer using the Y-Spy hardware in uh, C on Linux using OpenGL for the 3D um, graphics so the way I've got the monitors set up over on the left I've got Wireshark um, using that to monitor the USB port so I can see the USB traffic as I program it and um, see if what's going out is what I intend to go out um, I've got my code window in the middle here and I've got a console over here for compiling and, and running the program and just over here I've just got a web browser for um, you know looking up stuff reference type thing so I have mucked around a little bit with with 3d in the past this is just some old simple stuff but what, what I plan on doing as I said is, is making a 3d spectrum analyzer uh, for the 2.4 gig and 5 gig Wi-Fi bands using the hardware that I've got so I can get some programs that I'd like on Linux so with a bit of music playing and I'll just stay here doing this all night until I drop dead that'll be me for the night